Well, hello there. This is GIMP, and we are going to use it to design a website. In GIMP, we have a feature called Slice. We are going to slice an image to small pieces so we can use it as a dynamic website. Dynamic website means that when the user go with the mouse somewhere, it will change. Dynamic. So here we have an image, and we're going to use this one, two, three as buttons. Dynamic button. So I created this image, and I duplicated it, and changed some colors. Now we are going to slice it and use a rollover in Dreamweaver to change between the red and the green. So let's do it. First, before we start, you should know that if you have a text layer, you must put them together in the same image, otherwise they will not be sliced. So to do so, you just right click on the text layer and merge down. When you do this, you see now I have only, everything is one image. All this text is part of the image. Okay, now we don't want it, so plop. Now, to have the slices, we need guides. All these lines that I have here are my guidelines. To have a guideline you just go up here and drag down. So you get a line from the left. You get another line and each area like this is going to be one image. So we have many slices here as you can see. What is important for us is this one, two, three buttons and this area just for fun. So I have one big slice here and one, two, three slices there. So we don't need this and we don't need that. Now to slice we go to filters, web, slice. In the pop-up window that we get here, first we tell GIMP where to save our HTML file and the images. We give a name to the HTML file and we give a name, a main name to the images. So each small image will be called slice uh, one, two, three, four, whatever. Then we choose the type of each image. If you want it JPEG or PNG. I go for PNG. Make this a yes so all the images will be in a folder called images. You can change the name if you want. When you're all done, click OK. Now it's slicing. You can see the images are building up. And we are done. Now this image is already sliced. You will have to do the same thing with this image. So again, filter, web, slice. Now this time, give it a different name like slice 2, images 2. So they will not get mixed up together. So easy. Wow. Click OK. Now, what we need to do. At the end, we need only one HTML file. So let's go to the folder and see what's going on there. Booyah! So this is the folder where we saved our work from GIMP. So we have HTML with the name Slice and HTML Slice 2. This one goes with the green version and the first slice goes with the red version. We can also see that we have images folder with all the sliced images. 
and images too with all the same sliced images beside of this that we changed in GIMP. So what we need is to copy this four to the other folder. But before we do so, we should change the name because the images in the other folder have the same names. So let's just add the, the letter B to each one so it will be easier to deal with them in Dreamweaver. So we copy, go to the other folder and paste. Bazinga! So now we can see we have the red and green, red and green, red and green, and these two. All the others are the same and we don't need to touch them. Okay, now we are going to use this HTML file in Dreamweaver with this folder. All the rest, we don't need it anymore. So I will see you later in Dreamweaver. Bukush. Ay caramba, look at this. We open our HTML slice in Dreamweaver and it looks awesome. So we have this image, we have the code here that GIMP wrote for us. Now just a reminder, this is not a full HTML page. You just, you should embed it, copy it to your HTML file that you want it to be. This is not a complete code, you see some things are missing here. But we will use it for now. So first thing we want to do is to make it a rollover image. So I can delete it, go here and rollover image, browse for my image. So first we put the red one and I can browse for the second one, but I can just copy paste and add the B, remember? Mm -hmm. We can also have our link here um, for example teacherambo.com and click OK. Now we do have, this is a rollover, rollover image, we can see it only in the browser. So let's check it out. Let's view it, but of course we want to save it. So, <sighs> so it looks the same and we hover with the mouse, dun -dun, dun -dun. awesome. And when we click, it takes us to the link, like teacherrambo.com. Mm, yes, cool. So now we have to do the same thing with the two other images. Okay, so we can just delete, roll over, browse, go for the second one. Okay, copy, paste, add a B. If you know the link now, you can put it on. If not, you can do it later. Alternate text is not as important because it's just a menu or something, but up to you. Click OK. Do the same thing with the third one. Roll over. Shkloop. Plop. Ding. Zoop. Paste. B. OK. And we can do the same with this one. So again, roll over browse, go down to this one, okay, with a B, and we are done, let's check it out, of course we want to save it, what else, now, zoop, zoop, zoop. you can see that uh, we had something not perfect in our two versions, of course you will do it better than me. So every time I hover on something, it change like a dynamic website. Awesome, wow. So this is how we use GIMP, Dreamweaver, and your creativity 
to do something awesome. Now go ahead, read the instructions below, and off you go. Do your work. See you in the class. Bye-bye. <laughs>